Play for the crowd. Did you ever play baseball? Softball. You did play softball. See? What travel. position? Uh, second base. Look at you. Fast, fast hands, fast feet. N no and no. Okay. Well, we're going to... About yay, I was about your size. But you were four, and you were <laughs> you were four years old, and you were my size. <laughs> Ten or eleven, but see. in homage to opening day, we're going to play a game. Our next guest is quizzing us on some New York City baseball <laughs> trivia. You know John Freya, aka here in New York, on Instagram, on TikTok, and from New York Living. He's got the best videos. He gets all the fun facts about behind New York City history. I actually have learned a lot. Hey, that's a nice Mr. Freya. He cleans up nice, too. I, I've learned idea. so much. It's like it's too much information to fit in my small brain. Without any further ado, the man, the myth, the legend, I'm back. John Crea. I'm back. And you guys are stepping up to the plate. We are. Mm -hmm. And you're going to try literally. to do some. We're yes, going to knock it out of the park? Oh, you oh, know. God. Did you study? No. Mm. Oh, you know Wait. Yeah, I'm already striking up. Um, I don't know if the class knows. Do you have a favorite baseball team? I am more of a New York fan. I mean, my first baseball game was at the Mets. At, sure, at, at City Fest. At, at no, Shea Shea. Shea. Yeah. I literally remember the seats where I sat. It was like Aww. low section 22, row F, 11, 12, 13. Did you keep the ticket? I don't know where it is. Okay. I kept it, but we moved in. And then the rest oh. is yeah. history. But I, I like, like that he said he's a New York fan. That's like that. fun. That's like, like that. you know, okay, fine. Yeah. All right, we'll so it. normally you tell us about New York history, but today you're making a sweat. Yes. Um, Let's get the papers. So first question. Yes. No, so this is the deal. There's a uh, baseball right there. Yes. Okay. You grab the baseball. Oh, Whoever God. grabs it first answers the question first. If you get it wrong, it goes to the next person. All right. Okay. And it's a hard baseball, so don't like throw it around. It's a new studio. I don't want to. Let's break not. Anything. Let's not break any glass along the way. Either. <laughs> okay. All right. So first question is: what Where is did the Mets play their first game? Ever. Yep. Ever. Polo grounds. You're right. Polo grounds. It was April 11th, 19. Polo, polo. The polo grounds. Oh, oh, oh. It okay. was April 11th, 1962. More than 12,000 fans packed that stadium. Look at that. Um, they went against the Pittsburgh Pirates. Do you think uh, they won or lost? I think they won. Lost. They lost. Yeah, they lost. You know, I had to be hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> I no, had it's, it's always good to look And the, the polo grounds side. are now across the street from the current Yankee Stadium. Is that right, Director Dave? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's actually an old staircase um, that is still in that. Is it's still right. there from the original. And the polo old really uh, Yankee cool. Stadium is across from the new Yankee Stadium. <laughs> That's true. That is also true. All right, question number one in the books. Okay, Two. next. What Broadway theater has a connection to the curse of the Bambino? Ooh. Uh, you got 40 out of 100. Can we phone a friend? Do you want a hint? Yes. The theater is named after what Times Square used to be known as. <gasps> Duffy Square? No. no. Oh, shoot. No, that's the Tiki TS. All right. You could take it. Alex? Uh, you should I, know this. We talked about this on New Year's Eve history. Come on. Oh, my God. You think um, I remember that far back? Just pick any random theater at this point. The La Fontaine. That's what mm. I was going to say. Okay, good choice, but wrong. <laughs> 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 it was the Long Acre Theater, um, and I that was built. I never that, Jinx. So that was built by Harry Frizee, who also owned the Boston Red Sox and is the person that sold the contract, Babe Ruth's contract to the New York Yankees Ooh, for $125,000, which is around $2 million wow. today. And a lot of Broadway um, producers were very superstitious that the curse of the Bambino would have spilled uh -huh. over to the Long Acre uh -huh. Theater. So they didn't really want to have their shows there. Um, no there way. were like There were a decent amount of flops, but there were some successes as well there. Okay. But um, yeah, this theater is connected to the curse. Stop really it. I really do learn from this, man. The, I, it's, I'm mm. mind blown every single time you're in the Question building. three. Okay, so where in New York did Jack Norworth write the song, Take Me Out to the Ball Game? 161st <laughs> subway station. You know what? That's like, I'm going to give it to you because he wrote it while riding on the subway. Okay. All right, so it's one. She's one, in the 161st one. Street subway station. Okay. He was riding the subway back in 1908, and he saw a sign that said, uh, Baseball Today Polo Ground, so actually kind of in that area, I guess. All right, All right so yeah, we'll give, give it to give you. It we'll give it to you. He wrote this song for his girlfriend, Trixie Forganza, who is a well-known actress and suffragist, and there is actually two verses that are really largely forgotten that talk, uh, tell you the story about Katie Casey, who loved baseball so is much. Is it Casey at the bat? No, that's different Casey. Different. Um, oh, okay. but, this, but Katie... Um, wanted to go to the ball game, to told her uh, boyfriend to take me there, and she uh, sat behind home bla plate, argued with the ump for every <laughs> no call, way. and it kind of represented Trixie Forganza, but also the new women of the 20th century no that kidding. were like full of just, just yeah. so much um, vigor. Vigor. Yes. vigor. Love it. I love yes. it. This Next been... question. All right. Take me out to the you guys, ball game. All right, game. so it's one against one. So take me out to the ball game is like a love letter. It really is. Buy this, me some peanuts and This takes jacks. on a whole new meaning to the seventh inning stretch. Yes. Wow. Okay. So Go. Question. 
<laughs> this luxury apartment building was where the plan to rig the 1919 World Series against the Chicago White <gasps> Sox and Cincinnati's Reds were, was planned and it's better known as the Black Sox scandal. It's a luxury building. Luxury building on the Upper West Side. Do you want a hint? Yes. yes. It's where the Continental Bats were where Bette Midler made her like debut. Oh. Um, oh my God. You go. No, I, I'm not going to get it. Okay. Uh, my brain is not firing correctly. The today. Dakota. I knew you were going to say that, but you were wrong. <laughs> it, <laughs> it is. Oh, not, you guys, not you guys you. matching, too. Come on. <laughs> you know, we can try to coordinate. We can try to coordinate. Um, but it's the, uh, the Ansonia, oh, and no. it all started in where the... the where that show is shot. Yes. Yeah. No. Different show. Okay, That's sorry. the Bell Nord. Okay, fine. Nord. Sorry. Oh, Inside baseball. Oh um, but Help. it all started in the room of White Sox basement Chick Gandel, and the whole idea was conceived by Arnold Rothstein. Uh, and AR? Uh, Not AR. The yeah. Chicago gangster from. Uh, yeah. Well, he was actually the person that inspired Wolfsheimer gotta, and Greg Gatsby. We got to go to the, to the bonus question. Okay. Bonus Quick. question is the Mets made history when they hired this announcer, making her. Marisol Cita Castro. Yes, making her the first woman announcer for the team. Oh, shut Yay! I don't know how many of those the people Shots. in the booth, aka Dave, would have gotten. <laughs> Not this one, but the other. Yeah. Because you, you know, did good. those were good. We, oh, we, tried. You tried. we tried. We tried. We tried. I learned base. a lot. Yes. We got to, we first, got to first base. Base. I think I got to second. Yeah. That's it. But John Fria, uh, you're also making apparent. Apparently, you're creating walking guides. Yes. Yeah, so the study guide that I sent to you guys. Yes, he that posted. We there's a link on your Instagram. Read. It's okay. It's all right. Good. If you go to hereinny.com, you can just uh, download it and get the guide and do like a little own uh, your own baseball walking guide. Walking Look at you. It's also currently on his Instagram story. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. if you're not already following this guy, do it. I don't know what you're doing with your I, life. I, I don't know either. At here underscore in underscore ny or on TikTok at here in NYC. Mm -hmm. John Fria, thank you so much.